Hi guys, welcome to the RC Store. My name is Ammo. In this video, we're going to check out the Rovin RF5 and the F5. Now, these two cars, we have done separate reviews on them. However, a lot of people have asked us, what's the difference in these two cars? So we thought, let's make a video and let's show you guys what the difference are between these two models. This will obviously allow you, if you're making a purchase, etc., allow you to choose the right car for you so you can physically have a look at what the actual main differences are and is it worth getting the RF5 or is it worth getting the F5? So let's get stuck in guys. So from looking at the front of the vehicles, my apologies first of all, um, this bench is small to get two one scales on here or should I say these vehicles are actually extremely large. So on the front of the vehicles, as you can see, these plastic chin spoilers at the bottom of the bumper are pretty much identical. They look like there's no difference. The shells slotting in the same slots on each side. Um, so they look like they're interchangeable or are these built on the same platform. Next thing you will notice is the RF5 actually sits higher than the F5. Now, obviously this being a rally car and this being a touring car, that's a given. However, the tires, when you check the tires out, the profiles seem completely different. Now on the RF5, the tire profile is 160 by 65, where on the F5, the profile is 170 by 60. So the tire sizes are completely different. On the F5, you've got a lot more sidewall, where the RF5, you haven't. However, moving forwards from that, I think the best thing for us to do on these particular vehicles um, is to get the shells off and compare the chassis side by side. If you haven't seen the videos, um, at the end of this video, you will see multiple options of different videos, etc. that we've done on our channel. You will see a proper in-depth guide and unboxing video on the RF5 and one on the F5. Feel free to check them out. And if you haven't already, turn on the notifications because you will see these cars running. Also, if you like our content, smash that subscribe button. Right, let's get these shells off and put these side by side so you guys can see firsthand what the main difference is on these two spectacular vehicles. Give me a second and I'll be back. Right guys, so we've removed the shells and the first thing that strikes you straight away is the RF5 has this incredible roll cage running over it where the F5 doesn't. Okay, fine. Let's start from the front end and go through the whole vehicle all the way back and let's see what the actual differences are or are they exactly the same? Right, so starting on the front bumpers, looking at both front bumpers, they are both identical. I did say they may be interchangeable. I'm right, they are interchangeable. They're absolutely identical. Now, the only physical difference that you can see on these bumpers is the F5 has body mount posts coming off the bumper where the RF5 doesn't. However, the RF5 has the pre-drilled holes and mounts ready to have the bumper posts put on. So it's literally a case of you put the posts on, screw them in and it's exactly the same. So like I said, the F5 has a body post on the bumper where the RF5 doesn't but the mounting brackets holds are already there, so you can interchange them. Looking at the front bumper braces are identical. The shock absorbers are identical. If you have a look at the anti-roll bars, identical. Suspension, identical. So these bits are all the same. Now, I think what I'll do is turn the vehicle sideways so you can see the side on comparison and I'll put them exactly the same way so air filter side argument sake facing the camera so you can see them side by side and actually look at them and see what the difference is and I'll once again run through everything right guys so side by side you can tell straight off the bat the main difference on the side other than the roll cage is the tires you can see the thicker profile tires on the F5 compared to the lower profiles on the RF5 Obviously the tire tread's different. Even though that's the fact, this actually sits slightly higher. And now that's obviously down to body posts. So what I'm gonna do is remove the roll cage off the RF5 so you can see 
the chassis without the actual roll cage. So if I remove that, let's pop that down here. And now you look at the cars, they look pretty much identical. What we can first see, other than the tyres, is the body mounts. Um, the body posts are different. The front ones are not as long as the on the RF5 compared to the F5, and they're braced in a different manner. Um, also, the rear ones on the RF5 sit a lot higher and closer together, where on the F5, they sit a lot wider apart, but a lot lower. So that's obviously dropping the body down, and on this side, it's pulling the body up. That's pretty much the first things we notice. Going into the vehicles themselves, the air filters look exactly the same. The petrol tanks are exactly the same. The running gear, so all the spare gears, the gearings, the disc brakes are identical. Servos, front and rear servos, identical. Um, yeah, even the, the rear bumpers are exactly the same there's no difference whatsoever right guys so what i'm going to do now is flip these cars around so you can see the rear ends you've seen the front uh, i'll flip them around so you can see the rear there and the rear on this one as you guys can see even the rear bumpers are exactly the same the only thing different on these two cars is the body post mounts um, and the wheels and tyres. Everything else is interchangeable. It's the same chassis, it's the same parts. There's no real difference. So for you guys out there that are wondering which car should you go for? It comes down to two things. What do you prefer in terms of looks? Do you want the roll cage or don't you want the roll cage? So that's that's probably the biggest question you need to ask yourself. And what type of running are you going to be using on? Don't get me wrong, the F5 can be used as a rally car, just as well as the RF5. And if the F5 is being used as a touring car, there's no reason why the RF5 can't be used as a touring car, because they're exactly the same. It's just that the RF5 body sits higher, F5 body sits lower. It comes down to personal preference, which car do you guys choose? Feel free to comment below and let us know what would you pick out of the two cars. Guys, if you like our content, please like, share and subscribe to our channel. Don't forget, both these cars will be seen in action. You will see both of them running very, very soon. And if you don't want to miss them videos, smash that notification button and we'll see you in the next one. Take care.